Here we are, uh, Sketchy Meat. Uh, we got a nice little bunker 2.0 going on. Unfortunately, Yay. on the last base, we did some water things. Some people read the comments on the YouTube, and it got corrupted, and we lost everything. This is the top of a new tower. We're still carving out the upper portion of the base. If you look down here, though, you can see how that's going to go in different waves. Uh, we found a fallback st positioning style with a, a series of concentrically smaller circles with spikes has been working. But we also found additional ways to defend yourself against zombies by choosing where they spawn. All right, how do we get down? Oh, so found it, found it. <laughs> yeah, careful. Just don't fall. <laughs> oh! oh. All right, a little better view over here. You can see how uh, the pattern has been uh, expanding, really. We've got our desert, sand adjacent, very nice. Oh, yes, the reason for this base location. Let's go over that. Right here, we have, in this nice little dark area, we have iron all over the surface. Oh, these little iron beams. Break them up, you get two iron bars. It is fantastic. To the right, of course, desert, sand, sand, you know, concrete. Right above that little dark stretch, there's these gigantic trees which you can just turn into so much wood. And it's really not too far from the regular green and rain wood. But the big reason, yeah, it was the iron in the sand was the reason for this location. The iron made us possible to build this. Yeah, the, oh yes, yeah, so let's get a good view of what's going on. People can probably see all these beams we're standing on, but they don't have the full picture. Where is the letter? I swear to you, I can Over never here, find this it. this side, towards me, south side. Ooh, I almost jumped off the wrong side. Yeah, careful, careful. Oh. That's awesome. And so we're eventually going to cover all these up, I think. Oh yeah, it's all going like to be covered up. Structure. Okay. It will look very nice once all the corrugated tins on there. Uh, letters over here. I, I swear to you, I, I will die if someone doesn't point this stuff out. Okay. All right, let's get an external view. Where's the hill? Uh, this way. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, and of course, pick the one side that doesn't have the fill in. All right, we're still working on that. <laughs> And there is Scorn, who has been insanely working and gathering a ridiculous amount of iron to construct his little Eiffel Tower. What you're wondering if the metal pieces are, it's these things, yes, these metal things. Oh yes, yes, this is the metal right here. And if you see, it'll take a few swings. A few swings. A million swings. Alright, and here it is. Scrap metal block. You take that, you put it here, and look, oh! Two iron ingots. And look at this. Look off of the... Just repeat endlessly. Millions. Oh, they're just course, everywhere. And of course, course, if you also want to surround your base, these annoying little blocks here, you can break them down, but they don't break down anything. Just break down the blocks that you can move. Same kind. That you can move, yeah. They they're cool. very strong, though. Something. We could probably yeah. put an external layer. Alright, we've been working in here, but unfortunately we've had a little shortage on gathering enough concrete. Yeah. Is this is how the uh, spike layering will work. We found that purely blocking these zombies will cause them to destroy your stuff. Leaving them around, they will charge to their death. And of course, you periodically each point, put these around. Think about alternating the angles every two layers, so it'll be elsewhere on the next one. Yep. Okay. Still work in progress. It's a lot, this is a lot bigger than the last yeah, one. Yeah, this, this has unfortunately been a much bigger endeavor. A few people who were supposed to join us, duh, they've been a little bit lazy on that. A little frustrating. A little, little. Down we go. Same concept as before, but much more refined. Oh yeah. Uh, down here, Perfect. Scorn was going to begin working down towards the mining platform, but we really haven't had a whole bunch of need for stone yet. Inward we go. Scorn has decided to take the carpet this time around. A lot of the choices in design on the base are due to where the glass will face. Glass at this current moment of time will only face one direction. We have a lot of couches. Oh, we just have a lot of couches. I mean, we, we stole a lot of couches. We got some plants. Plants hey, are nice. Hey, Cooking game. pots, we figured out how to use them more efficiently and better. They do actually function. You use the item with the cooking pot. Here's our little auger and storage. We kind of went through the gas on this. Oh, 
Oh, this yeah. is your stuff. This is sketchy stuff. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about his stuff. He he's Kat really hasn't even focused on his room at all. He just no. was going to expand, but he just stopped. Been working on trying to finish upstairs. Yeah, upstairs has been a very big project. Close the door. Raised in a barn? Oh, yeah, okay. Barn. Here is the new improved Garden 2.0. You have blueberries, potatoes, potatoes, blueberries, and corn. corn! But you need to have a kitchen to go with it. Oh, look at this. We even brought a refrigerator in here. You can bring them. It's annoying so far. We were so happy about it. We were it. so happy to bring refrigerators. You have no idea how long it took. And look, it has water in it. Chilled water. Ch yeah, let lukewarm water see apocalypse. <laughs> food chest. More food and seeds. Oh, the big thing about using the water, of course, is you don't have to, as I said in the previous one, keep tilling the soils. It has itself going on. Here's our new improved storage viewing room. And this is pretty good, pretty good actually. We have our regular items here, of course. Oh, there's all the couches. Wow, we got a lot of sectionals. <laughs> Wood, blocks, stuff, try to be stored with the themes. You have more storage. But right here, this this is just a weapon section. Guns, ammo, ammo, guns. We found two launchers and a sniper rifle. We're not a strong yeah, the launcher sucked. There's nothing to even write home about. <laughs> oh, and look, our viewing room. The lounge, if you would. Where we get, we sit on the, we, the we, lounge. Yeah, we sit. Hold on, yeah, sit. Hold on, F5. Eh, yeah, we sit. By standing, we mean. Sit standing. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll work on stuff later. Oh, and there's some requests that came in during the stream of making, I don't know, either like a lau or was it infirmary slash barrack, so we kind of worked on that a little bit based on uh, some requests. We stole a bunch of beds, too. Bunch of beds. A, a lot of beds. So a bunch of rooms for our future roommates. Well, we were hoping to have more people in here, but they just did not show up. Yeah, so it's three-man army. Everyone would have had their own individual storage areas, of course, and we had the group storage area. But the big thing we've learned is you can choose where zombies spawn. So, so here's towards. our delightful little tunnel. Oh yeah, the reason it's this direction? That's the only way that the concrete ramp will face. It won't face any limitations. Other way. It, yeah, it's it's not very unfortunate. But you're you build based what you can do, and this is the current limitation. Haven't put the glass or torches on that side. You know, a little decorative way down. But what you do, as night approaches, we all run down here. Uh, run, 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 And, oh, what was it? Oh, 2130. 2130, zombie spawn directly above us. Then you just jump around and eat, and the zombies go nuts. And then you're safe. They won't wreck your shit up there until you leave. Until you leave, yep. Uh, it is on this currently the way the coding is at this time. Mm. I do hope that uh, zombies will be changed, get better, they don't just drop on top of you, that maybe defenses or base design will serve a purpose, and that they don't just know where you're at. Of course, if you're underground, that is. For people who are above ground, you surface dwellers, you should die anyway. You are SOL. <laughs> you should die. You're building out there on the surface. You're but building out your surface is, your, 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 you know, your building should work. Although I feel with the introduction of the acid-spitting zombie in the next, uh, build, that block should be considerably stronger of concrete and stone for zombies. Think of any zombie you ever seen. You know, I want you guys to go out there and start punching concrete. No, don't actually do that. Don't yeah, actually do go that. Go home, go outside. Start do not actually, floor. do not punch concrete. No, I'm not taking concrete. that liability. <laughs> okay, okay. In theory, if you did punch concrete, you're not going to get anywhere with your fist. So concrete and stone should be considerably stronger against zombies. Now, I, I do like the idea how they can swarm on top of each other and they can climb, but the climbing zombie's coming too, so I think they really should have a lot of good changes in the following patch, at least with block strength. They're the fact World War Z on it. Mm. Oh, yes, World War Z, yes, yes. Oh, fantastic. That'd be, that'd be, that would be great. 
you really have to build blocks high, get some spikes, more damage. I want to see more of those blocks come into play. But this has been what we've been working on so far. It's been a lot bigger than what we were doing previously, but I do like the design, the layout. It'll be better. It'll be better. It'll be bigger. It'll be big. We can build it better, bigger, stronger, at half the cost. At half the cost. <laughs> And, of course, here's some of the lighting issues as the underground glass, as you're seeing, is starting to tint towards nighttime. It's almost like an outdoor clock. <laughs> but oh, yeah. in about uh, one game hour time, we can go ahead and show you real quick how that zombie spawn feature works. I would say feature, but it's more like an effect of the current coding. Yeah, a lot of work's gone into this. It's, uh, it's a work in progress still. I'm really yeah, proud of the kitchen. This was our first big sub project in here. We got a nice little wood paneling, stone, fires, lighting. Really like the lighting from the f campfires. Uh, I do it wish the perfect. torches were a little bit better. There were better light sources, but the game is still in development, still coming along. A lot more tech or advantages or construction or crafting to go through. Oh, running out of time. Get down to the zombie oh, bunker area. Our goal is to have this done before Alpha 2 comes out. So, hopefully in the next coming weeks we'll have it finished. Twenty seconds. Oh. <laughs> Zombies do have a finite spawning wave at this moment in time, too. You don't really have that Resident Evil endless effect going on. But we have what we have, and we'll see how the future builds go. Yeah. All right, come on. Four, three, two, two and a half, one. Oh, there it is. Look at that. There it is. Look at that lovely oh, by the way, they're all dying because there's cactuses above us. Yeah, another reason we've been. Yeah, yeah. Look, we're in the desert region. <laughs> nice. Yeah, those cactus are deadly, man. That's so funny to see them dying. So yep, they spawn right above us in the first wave, and then they initially just keep spawning throughout the night at different intervals. Alright, let's go say hi to the zombies. Not a very smooth ramp, as many steps, but you know, it looks good. It lo the physics, it doesn't look blocky. That's what I like about it. We can go all the way up to the top of the tower. I don't know, they might kind of bring into it. Eh, let's take a look. Alright, they should be where we put them. Which direction was that from? Should be this way, I believe. Yep, towards the desert. Careful, it's dark out there though. Oh yeah, screw that. I think they're on the other side of the tower, the mountain if I Yeah, I think they're over there. Alright, but look, it's night time and it's safe around the construction area. Let's go. Let's do this, Jolo. Oh, dude, you're nuts. Oh, you're not. Here they come. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Fuck, oh, man. She did not slow down. No. Oh yeah, there it's a shotgun. Here they come. Oh god. Dude, you shot the torch!
was interesting. No ice attraction does work, uh, you know, the whole smell thing and hearing. Little things to work on, but still rather enjoying it. And oh, yeah. that was tonight's zombie spawn. Now, if the rest of the base was set up as you could see, we could simply run in circles, dragging them all through the spikes. From our safety of these ramps, which aren't finished. They will be eventually. They will be eventually. But, in the end, this will be our greatest piece of work. Someone's enjoying themselves? Yeah, that, that was not my brother. Crackhead. <laughs> okay.